Hi, welcome to Unity Spiritual Center of Lansing. I'm Reverend Sharon Ketchum here with Winnelly Zeeb. Hi, Winnelly. Hello, Reverend Sharon and everyone. Yes, welcome to all of you. It's so much fun to be together in this different way, beyond time and space, just totally together in spirit. Here at Unity, we have a mission. It's a personal mission as well as a collective mission to spiritually awaken to our oneness with God, each other, and all creation. And beyond the mission, we hold a vision to see a world powerfully transformed through a growing movement of a shared spiritual awakening. We say shared because we understand it's not like finding the right answer, the right perfect path. It's about honoring ourselves and each other, whatever path we're on and wherever we are on that path. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we're going to begin today's service with our ecumenical prayer. The enlightenment of the Buddha shines within us. The compassion of the Christ moves through us. The power of Jehovah strengthens and guards us. The presence of Allah surrounds and guides us. Wherever we are, the Tao is, and all is God. And it's February birthday time. So I know there's a few people, um, Jill, Marianne, Val, and Christine, my grandson Logan, and maybe one of you out there at your birthday. And because we can't do this in person yet, I have mailed you a little special card I've picked for you. And if you're not on this list or you didn't get one, just give me a call at the office or email me and we will randomly pick a little message card for you to bless your on your, your year. So right now, just open your hearts as we sing to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. You're wonderful. Happy birthday to you. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you need to be celebrated. And it's our hugging time. So all those people, birthdays we hug. I brought a friend today because I just, tell him, Winley, I just really felt I needed to hug some something. You know, a hug is one of those things that you give as good as you get. <laughs> you know, that energy just exchanges. But we need to stay in practice. That day is getting closer and closer that we will be able to be in person. Maybe a little while more before we're hugging, but uh, let's just keep it up bringing that comfort and love and connection together. And the God bucket. Oh, yeah. Another week of learning. <laughs> Another week of learning. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Let me pass this over to you. Can you, you get Got it there? It. Okay. It's a little farther to reach now. Yeah. We're down it on is. Washington Avenue. Let's, yeah. Good for us, Sharon. Yeah. Let's, let's right. eat. Um, your word, fracture. Yeah, and I, I don't <clears throat> quite know how to explain this, but I've really seen how we've been separated for so long that our relationships have become very fragile and delicate, that we have a tendency to jump to like a protective mode or a combat mode sometimes in discussing things as opposed to a more supportive role. So it kind of feels like sometimes as humanity, our relationships are kind of like, a, a, we've let the ice get thin instead of having that really depth, solid connection, purely out of, I think, lack of habit. We've just lost some social skills. And I, I think the virus made us feel so vulnerable and it's invisible that we, we have this protective stance up. So boy, in groups, it's just really resonating beyond that fracture into that harmony again. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <sighs> Oof. Another one to grow through. <laughs> I hear you. Ready for mine? I sure am. Oh, here we go. Oh. Okay. Oh, river. River. Yeah. That's my Tell that's me. my code god word for when I'm resisting. Ah. The river always teaches me what I resist persists and the river will win and I won't. And <laughs> I had many opportunities to look at that this week, Sharon, and and it, it almost it just was comical where resistance has appeared. And my little two-year-old, and then em embracing, <laughs> giggling, and and thinking of the river and how it teaches me to look at the truth and flow and and shift, and it was comical, <laughs> and and voila, I have a new computer system, and oh. wow, it was actually easy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't have to resist fighting, getting kicked out and back on. And 
as oh. well as several other opportunities. So it's just a great reminder to me, again, that humor and levity, for at least for my spirit, helps me. I feel the spirit, presence of spirit with that little humorous nudge that I don't have to be so serious. <laughs> well, when it comes to technology, I understand the resistance. I find it interesting too, that you chose river and I, this fracturing thing I was seeing like ice on water, you know, uh, how it kind of grows. And, and when the water's flowing, you, you don't have to worry about fractures because there's nothing forming that can break. It's all in the flow. That's true. Yeah. That's well, God, true. happy birthday on... to your new computer. I, I am you. so happy for you. It's actually phenomenal. And everything was pretty easy once Go I figure. started resisting. <laughs> That's the truth. Life can be easier than we make it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, wonder what the lesson is going to be next week. <laughs> yeah, we will stay tuned. Yeah. 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 Oh. Okay, well, let's take a moment to bless our neighbors. And we know neighbors aren't those just physically close to us, but those that we share this incredible planet with. So we affirm that we pray with understanding and compassion in our hearts, knowing that divine light always shines, even in the darkest moments. We bless our medical community and our essential workers, all who are devoted to serving others in our times of need. We bless those in grief, whatever their loss, knowing that God is their strength. We lift our gaze to remember our shared humanity, our unity. Centered in God's divine presence within us, we know the truth for each person in our neighborhood and on this planet. We are guided by wisdom arising in love as we act in ways that foster peace and wholeness for all. And so it is, amen. You know, and I was just thinking, <clears throat> I really like to include all of our restaurants and their staff and supportive patrons right now. We've entered this new stretch of faith of, you know, trying to meet again. Um, and boy, I, you know, I, I re really appreciate them shutting down for so much, how hard it had to be on their businesses and those that have persevered and, and God bless all of them. I love the work they do. I love restaurants. Yes. <laughs> oh, daily word. I'm going to turn that over to you, Emily. Today's daily word is inner peace. Inspired by the writings of the prophet Isaiah, those of steadfast mind you keep in peace. In peace because they trust in you. Peace, be still. With these words, Jesus claimed his authority and calmed the stormy waters. Following Jesus's example, we too claim authority. In a stressful moment, we center our awareness in the divine presence that lives within us and expresses through us. This divine presence is perfect life, love, and wisdom. It is peace that nothing and no one can disturb. Mm -hmm. No matter what may be happening around us at the center of our being, there is always peace. It is an aspect of our divine inheritance as near as our next thought. We release all fear and tension and embrace the peace of God. As we do, divine peace radiates from the center of our being. It clarifies our thoughts, calms our emotions, and relaxes our bodies. In every situation, we are a presence of peace. Let us affirm together, I express the peace of God. Mm. Thank you. And a blessing for this ministry, which really is blessing ourselves because you and I, all of us, we are Unity Spiritual Center of Lansing. 
Unity Spiritual Center of Lansing embraces its journey of spiritual growth. We bless our time wandering in the wilderness. We give thanks that each door that closed to us redirected our attention to a door opening for us. We are right now living as a greater expression of love, a force for good in our neighborhood and in our lives. We are receptive to the handprint of God guiding us to a greater blessing, a field of unlimited possibilities, a promised land for us collectively and individually. And so it is, Allah, Shalom, Amen, Namaste. Oh, our core value, it's February. We got a, a new yes. one. This month's focus, our core value for unity is integrity. Integrity is our inner sense of wholeness, deriving from qualities such as honesty and consistency of character. When we live in integrity, we live our authentic self and we are at one with God. Our word is impeccable because we are honest with ourselves and with others. Our actions are kind, loving, and inclusive. Let us affirm our integrity statement together. We apply unity principles by making and keeping our agreements in thought, in word, and action. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, and just an update here at Unity, what's happening in the physicality of it. We've never closed our doors, though. Um, we have a meeting in person, but now the building that we have, it's open to you to come visit us and also volunteers that are working, cleaning up and just tidying up and doing all those things that you need to do when you get a new place. We just ask that you call first so we can make sure we don't get too many people at a time so we can still have social distancing because the important thing for everything is that we keep everybody safe. And of course, our prayer team is still working. We have daily words here in Unity Magazines. And uh, yeah, so I hope you get a chance to stop by. And if you're in the area and the office isn't open, I encourage you to take a walk around the snow and look at the pond. And uh, yeah, it's just, just a delight. So what's up here? Tentatively, we're looking to see if we can do an in-person service for Easter, April 4th. And we won't know this definitively until we get closer because we know how this virus has been going up and down. And then if you didn't catch it last week, our Congress choices that you voted for, first quarter is the Firecracker Foundation that support kids that have been sexually abused. I mean, they just do wonderful work with youth. A second quarter is the Lansing Food Bank who has been doing such wonderful work supporting people. Uh, and certainly a time of food insecurity as well as other insecurities. Third quarter is Crystal Ray that does so much work with medical supplies and support within the community. Then the fourth quarter gets split among caregivers. Um, that, that's the nurses that work at Sparrow. Uh, and then Potter Park, which they do such a great job with our animals. It's just a beautiful place to go. And Youth Haven is a summer camp for underprivileged kids. So great choices, great organizations. I'm really excited about it. Reminder that Prayer Circle is still going on virtually at six o'clock on Wednesdays. And then we have different classes and things going on. Just check out our website uh, to see what you can just hop onto on a Zoom meeting. With that, oh, oh I'll light a candle. Uh, love this. How's your band warmed, warming up there? Are they getting I ready? I believe they are ready. This is such go. a gift every week. I just love this part. Thank you, Emily. Thank you. Thank you, Karen Drucker and her musicians. It's a song of prayer, this beautiful song. Let's activate that sensation of peace resting into your body, your breath center of your being, radiating a prayer of peace for all. <sighs> a light, a candle in your memory, though I don't know 
who you are and when i think about your family i will wish upon a star and i pray they'll make it better and i pray they'll make it through i light a candle in your memory to honor you a light a candle for america may we feel peace inside may we hold each other closer and wipe the tears we've cried and i pray we'll bond together and i pray that we'll pull through a light a candle for america for me and for you and we will light the world with our love i know we will for humanity for all the good that's yet to come as we overlook our differences and join now as one and i pray we'll come out stronger in this world i'm dreaming of i light a candle for humanity to be a world that's living in love We will lie As we overlook our differences and join now as one and i pray that we'll be stronger in this world i'm dreaming of i'll light a candle for humanity to be a world that's living in love a candle I'll light a candle I'll light a candle Oh oh I love that that is gorgeous you so inspired me. I lit one here too. Yeah. I like this candle for you. And for you and you and, and you. For you and you and you and you. So touching. I bet when Karen wrote that, she had no idea how meaningful that song would be today. Yes, it's a beautiful, beautiful prayer. It is. Thank mm. you for, for choosing that and doing that. It was just great. Well, this is the end of our opening segment, I'll Light a Candle. You can binge watch us, see all the segments together, or watch them as it fits into your schedule. 
And if you're watching this Sunday, um, February 7th, join us at 1030 for a live fellowship Zoom time uh, where we just chat and get together. So see you in the next segment whenever you watch it. Bye, Winnelly. Bye. Oh, for it.